Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dre and today we are going to be talking about Cyberpunk 2077. And just so you're not misled into thinking that we're going to be talking about this game specifically, we're going to be addressing those people that think that this game is offensive for one reason or another. If you have not heard about this subject, it's, you know, let me go ahead and explain it real quick. It's basically people saying that this game is offensive as far as racism, sexism, whitewashing, among many other reasons that they are nitpicking and saying that this game is offensive to one group of individuals or another. Please feel free to look this up. There are many subjects on it. There's people showing the tweet feeds, you know, the YouTube videos, the articles saying how this game is offensive, how, you know, it's portraying certain groups in a bad way. And that's basically what I want to talk about today. Not the articles themselves and the videos about telling you what you should be offended by, but to address us as the gamers, as the individuals, and, you know, try to get our voice back on what we think is right and what we think is wrong. Funny thing is that I think it's wrong for someone else to tell me how I should feel about a certain game just because that's their one personal opinion on it. When I saw the gameplay demo at E3, none of these things came up to my mind and I didn't think there were anything to be concerned about or anything, but apparently they are. They are offensive and they are bashing this game because of it. I personally believe that these things are not going to be able to put this game down in any kind of way. The game seems to be having a really good hype going on. It seems to be going in a really good strong direction. Many people are excited about it and even with the naysayers, this game seems to be going in a good direction. But these articles and naysayers should have some attention and not in the way that they want it. The attention that I want to focus on is why are we letting certain individuals telling us how we should be feeling? about subjects that we didn't really care about or that we didn't feel that they were that serious to begin with. I'm not sure if it's just clickbaiting that they're trying to get across and get you to click on their article and see their ads and try to get them some kind of revenue, but it's pretty misleading. It's pretty bad that they're basically trying to nitpick every little thing they can find to get some attention. And while they're doing this, they're using the name gamers feel offended by this or gamers are unhappy about this when it's only a few individuals that are writing these four articles and saying these bad things about the game when the gamers themselves didn't really care about it. And as always, these are just my thoughts, my own opinions. I'm not telling you to feel the exact same way that I feel. If in one of these comments that I'm making, you feel that you relate to me, awesome. I appreciate that. But I'm not telling you to feel how I feel. This is just how I see these things going on. I believe gaming is becoming very big and very mainstream now that these article writers and these naysayers are just trying to find every little thing to, you know, to call some attention into these things and not the good kind of attention. But it's up to us as the gamer, as the consumer, to decide whether we want to play this game or we don't, whether we want to buy it or just skip on it. Loot boxes, pay to win, and unfinished games are already plenty that is going wrong with gaming right now. I don't think it's necessary to add all these offended stuff into it and make it even worse. We need to be aware of what's really important in gaming and what's just trying to call attention. And with all this going on already, I was pretty excited about Cyberpunk 2077 and now I'm more excited about it. I plan to buy this game and play it and enjoy it as much as I can. I have big hopes for this game. I think it's going to be an amazing game. I think there's going to be quite a few reviews, quite a few playthroughs and I am looking forward to seeing all of them and playing the game myself. And come on, Keanu Reeves coming out on E3 and promoting this game made it even more amazing already. So what I'm trying to say is that we have plenty going on in gaming already, good things and bad things, and we don't need this extra things making gaming more complicated than what it's becoming nowadays. Let's all have fun. Let's enjoy games and give it our honest evaluation on what we think so, not what other people are telling us to think. These goes for the articles and for the reviews as well. You know, sometimes you might see a game that has really bad reviews and you play it, and you honestly enjoy it and that is amazing that is great you don't have to follow the norm and you don't have to follow the trends just enjoy what you want to enjoy 
if you're having fun with a game that no one else that you know is playing, that's still okay. Go ahead and enjoy it. Go ahead and have fun. Everyone out here on the internet, including myself, can give out our opinions. But that doesn't mean that you change out your opinion on what you think of a game. Gaming has been such a huge thing for many of us for decades and decades. And a lot of people are, you know, starting to hopping into the gaming lifestyle and YouTube and Twitch and all that. And that is amazing. I am happy that more people are joining in. They're all welcome. There are going to be a few people here and there that are just going to find any little thing to critique and make it sound like gaming is not as fun as it really is. But as long as we don't pay him attention and just throw him under the rug, they are going to disappear soon. They're just trying to get their money. They're just trying to get their attention. And if we don't give it to them, they're just going to be gone and find the next thing that they can nitpick on and, you know, make a subject on and make it seem like something else is really bad when it's really not. But as always, my name is Dre. Thank you so much for just listening to me talk about some random video game related subject. If you like this conversation, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. We just hit 80 subscribers and we're on our way to 100 subscribers. So you can help me get there by just hitting that subscribe button. But whether you subscribed or not, whether you like this video or not, thank you very much. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, please make sure you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, midnight, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is. Just please make sure that it's great.